What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're Matthew, also known as Blizzard HD, and we're here doing a different thing like we usually do on my channel occasionally. We just do random things. Um, this is not gameplay or anything like that. It is more of a metagame strategy guide for a Pokemon named Talonflame of Pokemon X and Y. Now, if you don't know who Talonflame is, he's pretty much the main bird of the game, like usually in the other games, like in Kanto, or should I say Leaf Green, Fire Red. Uh, it was Pidgey, and then uh, and, uh, Hoenn, or the Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby, it was... Taylo and so on and so on. Anyway, but he actually changes the formula completely, but he's not just flying and normal like a lot of them are. Like, Pidgey, to start, you know what you did, Pidgey. He's the reason why every freaking flying type is now normal and flying. Anyway, let's get past that. Uh, he's fire and flying, so he changed up the formula completely, and I really like that, because that's a huge combination. It makes it where he can just take out steel types and fighting types. He is a lot more useful than a normal flying. Um... So anyway, yeah, we're going to go on to it. And this is the one I usually roll with. Uh, I usually roll with a Sharp Beak item and then Gale Wings. Now, if you don't know what Gale Wings is, it is so OP because it makes all flying moves priority. And if you don't know what that is, it pretty much makes it where you go first. So, yeah, Brave Bird, strongest move in the game for flying, goes first. Goes first. And on top of that, I have a Shark Beak, so that means flying moves even do more. So, pretty much, uh, you're going to see some f f footage at the end. But Brave Bird pretty much just destroys anything. Like, it's insane. Uh, except things that resist it, of course. But, like, other than that, even if it's just normally effective, it's mostly gonna take it out in one or two hits. Uh, now the only problem with that is Brave Bird definitely does do recoil. And that's why I don't like some people who actually roll this with Life Orb. That is very dumb, in my opinion, because then you get hurt twice. So you're pretty much killing yourself. And especially if you go against something like a Chansey, which is what I'm testing Brave Bird on. Um, since they have so much health, you get recoil for how much health you take down. And since you take so much of uh, chances, you go down pretty much almost to half with just one Brave Bird. So on top of that with Life Orb, you're pretty much just screwing yourself. Um, but yeah. Um, and then another one I'm going to show you guys is a Choice Scarf version of him. Now, if you don't know what that is, it pretty much makes it where he goes first, which it really doesn't matter because of Gale Wings, but that's only for flying moves. But since I roll him with Flare Blitz... Um, on both of them, actually on all of them I learned just Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, Roost, and U-Turn. Usually Roost is, uh, switched out with Tailwind, um, I think that's what it's called. It makes it where just 4-4 four, four moves, your whole team's speed is better, so you go first. Um, but yeah, I usually Choice Scarf him just because it makes it where Flare Blitz is a lot more useful. Um, so it's, you're also gonna see him taking down Aggron with Flare Blitz. Um, and he can take that Aggron in two hits, and on top of that, Flare Blitz has a chance to burn. So if you burned him in the first one, you could pretty much just switch him out, because Aggron's gonna die no matter what, and when he gets to half health, and he's burned, he's, he's not doing anything to you. So you're fine, you can just switch something in to take him out and finish him. And, uh, I also used Flare Blitz on normal Chansey, like I did with Sharp Beak. Um, I didn't use Sharp Beak on Aggron just because there was really no point. Um, he's flying, why would I use that on Aggron? You know, and just get him taken out. But anyway, yeah, so he, I use it on Chansey, and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. That's done. Chansey's out. Nothing more to talk about. So yeah, that was it. That's pretty much it. That's really much the metagame I usually roll with him. Um, of course, he's not the only Pokemon I use. But um, yeah, I only use, and also I only use these two test subjects because one's a steel type that's very strong, and the other one's a normal type that's very strong. So I just wanted two on two things that you would most likely use it on. So yeah. Anyway, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day now. In an opinion when you watch this. And also, if you want to see more of these or you don't like it at all, write a comment below. Yeah. Anyway, guys. So, yeah. See you guys next time.